Today, Precarious plays Phantom Brave. I maybe made a tiny mistake. Okay. Just a small one, though. It's really, my mistake was my craft, my worksmanship was too much. It was, <laughs> that's my mistake, is working too hard. That's my cross to bear, my character flaw. So... Um, you decided to take a break and level up, and what did you do? So much. <laughs> Too much. Like I said, you may notice that everyone, they have different colors now. Yeah. I got some new titles. Uh, I'm not gonna cover all of it. I'm just gonna hit the most important highlights. Uh, Coco has an apprentice named Peanut. <laughs> Peanut's job is to stay at a fraction of Coco's level. So I always have a stream of really cheap items. <laughs> the next most important thing is I tried to unlock the creation of bottle mails, but it was too tedious. And I gave up because I, I don't need to create bottle mails right now. I just need one. Okay. So what I did... That's the button. That's the button. What I did is, if you throw people up here, yeah. and then onto that tree, and then jump up there above a certain height, it takes about like four or five people total. Yeah. They gift you a bottle nail for free. What? So I got them. I leveled them up. Named him Astral Body because I was thinking, I need a name that conveys is conveyance, it? and what co what conveys more than an astral body. <laughs> also, he kind of fell out of the sky. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I think uh, that Morona is now a pleased Chroma, which pleases me. That's good. I've been worried about her for a while. She does have that one friend, though. I'll explain more as we go. I'm sure that it'll come up. I may have messed something up very really badly. What do you mean? Very actually Damn. badly. How do we fall for such a stupid trap? Some Amazons we are. <laughs> Boss, that guy was the newest member of the Fighting Beasts. So Walnut, right? It's Walnut. Mm-hmm. No, the Beast would at least bite his head on. He's not one of them. Good intuition. He's probably just a no-good Chroma who heard about the huge reward. And now someone's been looking at the script. <laughs> Hey boss, it's some girl this time. <laughs> Another Chroma? Don't drop your guard just because she's a child. She's probably in league with that other guy. Mm. <laughs> it's pretty solid up to a certain point. Of war. Grant us in tune of rage. Cobalt booze. Oh my gosh. Some of those I think were weirdly interpreted. I don't know. It seemed very much like she was trying to call call up a rock concert. Let's do it. Or a blues concert. Yes, that very Amazonian practice of <laughs> calling up a I don't know, maybe that's just an Amazon thing. The shark man that hired Let's all of these go. people made a note of it before. Yeah. Maybe Maybe that's just part of the Amazon culture. Like, because everybody else, they were part of a group. It was like the Fighting Beasts and the White Wolf Army, and then the Am. No, it was Amazons. It wasn't even like the Amazons. He was just like, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have all the big ones: the White Wolf Army, Raphael. And I'm gonna have the Big Boy Club, and I'm gonna have Amazons. Like, let's do it. It was like saying and whales or and bears. <laughs> <laughs> Bears. Like he could have just as easily slipped in like a natural desert. I'm gonna have flooding. <laughs> I'm gonna have big old funnel clouds. <laughs> so let me show you some of the depths of my uh, my depravity. <laughs> so uh, everybody got a lot of people got some new moves. Some of them more con consequential than others, right? Mm -hmm. Morona has mana punch. That's not really a big deal, other than I have started training up her third, like her tertiary, what I consider to be her tertiary skill, which is mm -hmm. time and space. Mm -hmm. um, skills, 
the okay. time, time and space skill. Um, she can also revive fallen characters now. And I trained up her... Uh, I'm going to have to refer back to the episode where we internally titled these for our purposes. Oh, yeah. And write it down on a, on a post-it. Um, but that, that final category, the heart skill, yeah. she can do it up to twice in a pinch, Ooh. which should be a big help. And it's all thanks to this vase, <laughs> which I powered up specifically. It's a pretty nice uh, piece of porcelain. Okay. But for right now, I think that I'm just going to have her hang back and see how badly I mess things up with this character. So, I forgot how fusion works, specifically failure fusion. I could remember that there was a reason why, before you start seriously fusing an item to try to power it up, you give it a poopy title that reduces its stats, because it... What happens is you reduce the stats, you fuse it with a better item, that makes the average of the stats much greater, then you take the poopy title off, and then the stats will be much higher when they spring back up than if you would just fuse the two items normally. Okay. What that has done, it is has essentially... Yeah, that's a big difference. Okay, so her defense now is a third of Morona's. Mm. Uh, she is now, I think, incredibly frail. Mm-hmm. That's a fire move, and that won't disarm her. Um, she also has a number of moves that belong to her now, like without the bomb. Okay. I think top spin is wind base, so that's probably... Yeah, it's, specifically that's not great right now. I'm just going to try a nice fire bomb to see how things go. This is going to be like a thousand damage. Oh, that's still a huge <laughs> number. Okay. Okay, wait. <laughs> Are you... So, by messed up, you mean you're just going to be turning everyone into paste for the next few levels? Specifically with this character who I might just put on the back burner for hey a while. Man. Sorry, Tex. You're making everybody else look bad. What's the saying? Don't mess with Texas. I haven't been... Yes, and... <laughs> it is now if it wasn't before. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Oh my gosh. Is Everybody it... should be pretty badass, though. Jeez. Well, they really fucked me up before, you know? How did you do... How did you get... How did you let it... I played for, How like, long did I you play? I had fun. Like, three or four hours. I was just oh having fun. I was just having fun training and stuff. How dare you enjoy your homework? Yeah, I think I, I did next year's book report ahead of time. So, Tex just needs to sit over there. I need to peruse these items. Idle flower... A sated bone? Idol? Ooh, idol is probably okay. A happy? Oh, I should go get a happy thing. Two happy things. Uh, a happy danger little. cactus. <laughs> oh my gosh, do you think Bob Ross made those? Oh, is a happy little is a happy little skull? And a happy, happy little, little rock. rock? Oh, probably. Just live in your little oh, world. A happy, bone, though. happy little bone. Happy little skull. Happy little rock. So the reason why I needed a bottle mail. They have a few unique properties, the most impactful of which is the fact that they have an enormous bonus to the take-home statistic. Okay. So you see there, it's 100%. This bottle will take this item home. As oh. long as it lives uh, long enough for it's confined to, to run out. So it, is this the bottle that you got off the roof in the sky? Yes. So this this is astral body. Yes. Flat. He's flat. <laughs> that was a that was a joke. That I <laughs> I got the flat title, and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like a joke about like flat chested. Yeah, but I think this soda's flat in this bottle. Oh, I was imagining it was like a like a letter instead of a a, a bottle shape. Or maybe he's a flask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many different. So many layers. Mm -hmm. You know what I just Not noticed? Just one. He's real yeah. flat. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that the dark rectangle at the bottom of that cork 
was like a little rectangular spout and it like spoke out of it, like mm -hmm. it whistled. Oh, but, but it's, that's it's just the, the shadow. Yeah, I think that's just the bottom of the cork. Yeah, that's no. That's even weirder than it was before. It was already talking bottles that autonomously deliver mail. It's pretty, pretty strange uh. Uh, as far as concepts go. And that's even weirder now. Hopefully, uh, is this gonna immediately make me sad? Oh, how much HP does my bottle friend have? Oof, just barely enough. Okay. Okay. So see, I didn't overtrain as much as it may seem because I think, let me look at their stats. Wow, so that's actually a huge amount of defense on that bottle mail. I don't think they have a lot of HP, but I think that may have creamed her corn. <laughs> I don't think that that would have been okay to be to be struck with. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing that I'm happy about with this character right now in particular is that I am pretty sure that I've got a fire sword move, a wind sword move, and a water sword move. Mm -hmm. But she performs all of them with whatever she's holding because they're grafted right onto her. So currently, she performs all of these advanced sword techniques with a bomb. <laughs> or, you know, she could pick up Marona and I guess do the same thing. <laughs> That's me, hilarious. Let me show you the power of bottle mail and then we'll call it quits for right now. Are you ready for the power of bottle mail? Yeah. I mean, maybe? Actually, I was gonna make a big joke and and use punish and then run away, <laughs> but instead I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> this is the other power of bottle mail. Very fast. Yeah. Very fast. Enormous run distance. <laughs> you have to. It, it's gotta be on time. I know. Come rain mm. or sleet or tropical storm. Mm. Bottle mails. Or hail of Amazons. Yeah, will get you to dorn. Bottle mails will cream your corn. <laughs> Bottle mails. <laughs> they'll bring you your form. They'll bring you the form. Bottle mails, they'll... Don't look so forlorn. Bottle mails, they'll... <laughs> grieve and then mourn. Mm. <laughs> Bottle mails will not keep you warm. Bottle nails, where are they born? <laughs> we know the answer. 